Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm reacting to Brawl Talk the new ranked mode. Now, I'm pretty excited to see uh, what this new mode is gonna be as well as What's in this Brawl Talk because I've heard a lot of hype around it. Pretty excited to see what happens uh, also here is uh, a random comment. I don't know. I just want to shout out something and without any further ado Let's just jump right into this, to be honest. I don't know why Num's lock was on. It's Brothog, a weird cupid from the swamp. What a little K-pop singer. Sands of Time skin. Ragnarok skin. A new oh. ranked mode. With a new star drop. A new solo <laughs> mode. A new hypercharges and more. Oh, Cordelia's getting one? What in... Is that a poop spike? Now, what's something everyone loves? Mm, exactly, money. mosquitoes. What? Angelo is the first new brawler in this update, joining Willow's trio. What Dave Brawler lives in a swampy love tunnel at Star Park and loves okay. gossiping about brawlers to make them fight each other. Angelo is a sharp shooter, and the longer you hold the aim, the stronger the attacks get. Besides that, okay. Angelo can also hover over water like a nice. mosquito. Huh. Now, someone who is a bit more pleasant to listen to. Yes. Melody is a mythic brawler and the second of the update, okay. arriving in late March. She's a popular karaoke singer at Star Park and has some mood swings. Sometimes she's sweet and delicate as a rose, and sometimes harsh as its thorns. She's an assassin mm. that has a long range attack that deals moderate damage. But what makes wow. her strong is yes. that every time she hits a target, she gets a musical note around her. And These it musical what? notes keep spinning around her and deal damage on contact. Huh. She can have up to three musical notes around her, and they will gradually disappear after some time. Once she charges her super, she gets three dashes that must be used during the same super activation. And you can't recharge right. your super unless you use all three dashes first. The idea is pretty much to get your musical notes around you and then dash onto the <sighs> enemy. Melody is coming with a Norse themed skin called That's Thief cool Melody, thing. and we'll. Alright, but to be honest, I'll just I'll just get it out of the way. This brawler kind of sucks. I mean, the design is cool, but I mean, it's just another sharpshooter. You guys didn't even give her anything special, like the music notes. It's a, it's a cool idea, but that's really just it. I mean, there's nothing really. You, eh, it's kind of boring to be honest. I'll still be excited to get her. I might actually max her when I get her, because she actually has sick design. Six new hypercharges for yes. Cordelia. Yes. He now slows I might buy this. in the Shadow Realm with him. Buzz can keep using his super while his hypercharge is active. El Primo now has a bigger area of impact and drags people towards him instead of pushing okay, them away. Okay, that's nice. Bell super now homes in on her target. Sprout's walls now deal damage if you get too close. <laughs> and Bibi's bubble gun now splits into two if it hits a target. And the hypercharge unleashed event is back, but now it's only in showdown. And both your super Whoa. and hypercharge will charge faster. It's still the same deal. Complete the quest of the event All and right. you get a free random hypercharge. The event will be live right after the update drops. So, but whoever gets days. Sprout is so just absolutely screwed. The next season what is coming in March do? and it's called Sense of Time. And yeah, it arrives yeah. with the Sense of Time skins. Shelly Dancer attacks with her lamp and is the skin nah, of the Brawl Pass. Okay. Sargini, the name says it all. I and like lastly, this. Desert Scorpion and this is being sick. a 299 gem skin. 200 with all the special pins, profile pictures, Bro. sprays, and a custom voice and takedown VFX. Line friends are getting another Let's pack go. of skins. Fangirl Colette becomes Line Friends. Oh, this is so cute. Rocket Brown mixes Brock oh. with their classic bear called Brown. And Gus gets Sally's quirky vibes with these are so Sally. cute. I like More these. Marvelous skins, but this time from a different mythology. You know what time it is? It is Thorbin time. Which will be the Norse-inspired theme Dude, of the look season these in April. Fan here, Buzz, from Maintaining Order the Pool, now spreading chaos it's at so Star cool. Park. He's also the Brawl Pass skin with two color variations. Ilder oh. Fenrir Buzz and Skuga Fenrir Buzz. Lucky Chester is just I don't think I'm gonna buy it, but character. it's sick. Cordelius becomes sick. the one-eyed old father with Odin Cordelius. I might Scotty just get that now one. becomes ingenious in the art of hunting. These are so Melody cool. gets a 29 gem skin inspired by the goddess Sif. And lastly, Thor Bibi, the goddess of thunder. Oh yeah, that She's is sick. She's a 299 sick. gem skin, getting all the assets and a special takedown effect. This is so Mecha cool. skins are back, Ooh, and we'll have two new ones in this update. Mecha Leon, with the whole 299 gem treatment, and also two color variations, Shadow Mecha Leon and Radiant Mecha Leon. And another Sick. winner from Colt Supercell Mecha, yeah. Mecha Colt. 
Shout out to PJ the Creator for being the most voted Mecha Code skin okay. in the community. And it also comes with two color variations. Paragon, Paragon Mecha Code like and Renegade Mecha Code. Mm. And more random skins. Alright. <clears throat> Poop Spike. Um, other than that, this update has like this update looks like four 299 gem skins. That's kind of insane. They have so many expensive skins. And so many, for a fact. Feature Fang with one extra color variation. Yes. Squeaky note, a 29 gem skin for Squeak. It's and oh. Poop Spike. Literally our sh** skin ever. And the last one... Not to show your card, but it actually is this sh** skin. It's literally just poop. And... It's, it's that. The last one, Primo Shark. Wait, oh, is that I get what you it. think it is? Wow, that joke is so we are also releasing a new solo mode called Trophy Escape. If you defeated, you will lose okay, trophies. Okay, interesting. Even if you have collected a I think so I might play this one. Don't die. It sounds pretty fun. And if you defeat a brawler, you can collect all the trophies they were carrying. Power League is dead. And Ranked no. is alive. Ranked is the new competitive mode replacing Power League and it should be more rewarding, more fun, and more fair. For starters, you can only select brawlers with power level 9 or above, so it should already help yes. with a lot of the bad randoms. Mm -hmm. Now, from bronze to gold, the matches will be a best of one and no banning phase, pretty much Thank like the you. Mega Pig. That should make it a lot friendlier for casuals to start playing this mode. From diamond to masters, we go back to the format you are used to. Best of three with the ban phase. You can only upgrade to diamond if you have at least 12 brawlers with power level 9 or above. And speaking of ranks, just look how beautiful they are. We have that removed the solo and beautiful. team queues, so now you can play solo as a duo or in a team of three. And if you end up playing solo against the team, uh -huh. then matchmaking will adapt to make the match more balanced. And for more clarity, you can actually now see how many points you've gained or lost after a match. Now, this might be a bit controversial, but All your right. ranks will be reset at every season start. But we will give you a boost at every new season, so you can just get to where you were quickly. You only get this boost if you have played ranked in the previous season. And by mm -hmm. the way, ranked seasons are now only one month long. Alright, and is that it? When you ranked, there will be a quite impactful change to the gameplay. We are also adding modifiers. I know. The first reaction but is, like... but this is a competitive mode! Correct. So the only modifiers we'll have on ranked are the ones which affect Big both friend. teams equally. So it's up to you to adapt your strategy to whatever modifier and map gets randomly picked. The modifiers we'll have are Quick fire. When an attack hits the target, you reload an ammo. Time detonation. Progressively destroys the environment. Big friend. All brawlers have their elf points equal to the highest HP brawler in the team. Barbed ammo. All damage leaves a dot, kinda like Byron. And sick bits. All brawlers are immune to all forms of crowd control, such as slow and stun. So it's up to you to adapt your... How is that supposed to be helpful? Like, that kind of ruins the mode. Like, the whole point of, um, you know, having all these brawlers is that they all have their own special uses and stuff. Like, if you can't use, like, the special effects, which, I mean, not special effects, uh, you know, poison, fire, and stuff like that. It just kind of makes a lot of brawlers useless. Like, why would I even play Crow if he doesn't do poison damage? There's just no point. Because po the poison damage is the one reason Crow is actually good. So, like, that just eliminates a lot of brawlers. And that's not like, it's not like Crow's the only one who has that kind of thing. Like, for example, Willow. She's not that great in competitive, but she still has some uses. So yeah, it, it, it's kind of weird. I don't know what the heck that mod. Our strategy. Let's see how the next two seasons go. We'll be following the feedback we see on social media and the data we get from the game. If it right. sucks, we'll be ready to change it. <laughs> it probably. How about the rewards? Well, yeah. they are star drops. Listen first, okay? We'll have a new type of star drop called ranked star drop. In this ranked star drop, you'll be able to collect all the previous Power League season cosmetic assets or blink. There are only cosmetic rewards in the ranked star drop. And if you've been active in the previous Power League and collected all the cosmetics and skins, you'll get blink instead. And the skins that were exclusive in previous seasons will get recolored versions and will be added to these star drops in the future as well. Oh. 
I'm not gonna lie though. I really hope they don't do this. Alright, so let me just say, uh, this one looks sick, this one looks cool, I like this one. Mmm, it's okay. And this one actually looks like doo-doo. What did they do to this skin? It was beautiful. I like the white colors of it, and now it's just barf. What? I, I don't understand. What is with Supercell? Every Lunar New Year skin that got a recolor, they just took it, put barf, literally barfed on the skin, and just call it a day. Like, why so much green? It just like green and dark colors, they don't mix well. We also have a skin of the season that you can only find from ranked star drops All at right. a higher drop rate. And if you find it, you get it for free. No nice. more unlocking purchase options. Every skin that gets added to ranked star drops will remain there forever. And you can only get these skins by playing the ranked mode. So, nice. besides the ranked star drops, we also have some legendary star drops nice. there. The first one, starting at diamond. And remember that now the seasons are one month long. So all the rewards you've seen here can be collected again every month. And we have a new type of cosmetic reward for your battle card. It'll be oh, applied automatically the? once you reach a new rank. Here we'll have a reputation meter. And if you get to a red card, you get suspended from playing the rank mode. You can regain your reputation by just playing like a decent human being. When reporting, <laughs> you have to... <laughs> you, can get... <laughs> you can give it back not playing as a decent human being. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna get reported a lot. I don't play like a three option. Just no aim, no skill, no coordination. All right. So after watching that brawl talk, um, I have some things to say. Um, not all good things, but some some things. Um, so number one is the brawlers. Um, I think personally the first guy, let me check his name. So Angelo is something that looks pretty cool. Um, he, he looks pretty unique. Uh, I think giving him flight over water was pretty cool idea. I think giving a sniper uh, the ability to go on water, pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's something that I like. I think he's gonna be a really cool brawler. Uh, Melody, I'll just say is, yeah, like to be honest though, this game has so many snipers, and each one has like its own purpose. You know, she just doesn't really have anything going for her. She just shoots projectiles, and she can dash forward, and that's mostly about it. She's got that little circle of damage that's like Amber's gadget. Yeah. This update also had some pretty cool skins, uh, very sick skins by the way. I thought the update skins from the last update were cool. These ones were sick and holy moly, they are cool. Uh, power, I don't remember what they called it, power or something? Power match or something? I don't remember. Uh, it looks, eh, I don't know. I'm gonna not say too much about it before you know, I go into a tangent. Uh, right now, I will say that it looks kind of interesting. I don't know if it's good or it's bad. I haven't had a chance to play it yet. But to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to like it. Or maybe I will. I don't know. It depends on how hard it is to rank up from bronze to like diamond. Because in uh, the old system, it just took either forever or not that long so yeah it's 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 so funny to me that over a year ago they made a brawl talk where they wanted to step back from having a randomization system and now come back to now again we have star drops which are random and have random rewards and that's just everywhere now again there's no more what they were trying to do. And I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I am still eh, about this update. I don't know. Uh, the new game mode, though, it looks pretty sick. Uh, I, I actually like extraction uh, game modes. Pretty nice. This Brawl Talk was surely something. 
they finally remade Power League, uh, so that's cool. But uh, other than that, nothing really else to say. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, update looks cool. Um, I definitely think I'm going to like this one. But uh, we'll see. Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see you in the next one. Peace out.